guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. And I am here to welcome you to the July Christmas Stampathon Challenge. Now this month we are doing a sketch. Now the sketch is made by the beautiful Rosalie Desmond, who's also a demonstrator and part of our group. And the sketch is something like this. I will put a post below um, to my blog where you can, sorry, where you can see the sketch and you can, uh, you can find links to the group and play along. So the Christmas Stampathon Challenge all came about because a group of us demonstrators just wanted to get ahead on our Christmas craft project so we've decided to make a group and have a challenge every single month that goes from the 25th of the month until the 24th of the next month so this is our july challenge goes live on the 25th of july and you have until the 24th of august to get your um, entries in making four cards um, i am about to make my fourth with you and you receive a ticket into the draw uh, for every month that you participate and you receive um, an extra ticket for each month you participate. So one for the first month, two for the second month, three for the third month and so on and so forth. So today I am using the Star of Light stamp set and the matching framelits to make this card. And I have also used, and I put it away and I was going to show you. I've also used, this is the Twinkle Twinkle Designer Series paper. So I've used that for my three panels here. And I'll quickly just show you this gorgeous paper. is not Christmas in any way, shape or form. It is actually the baby paper from the new catalogue. Now, while I'm showing you this, oh my dear word, I want to apologize for my lack of colored nails. I, I recently had an operation and I wasn't allowed, oh my God, those stars and hearts and crescent are so cute. Um, and I couldn't have my colored nails for the surgery, but in my next video, they will be back to some gorgeous colours. I'll see what my nail lady brings and um, what I choose on the day. So I have used this um, Galaxy paper and it is in Night of Navy. And I've paired that with some Balmy Blue, which is one of our brand new colours in the new catalogue and I am loving this blue and just pairs so nicely. So I have done a bit of pre-preparing today and I have already cut, I'm gonna pop the Starlight stamp set over here. So I have already cut in my big shot uh, this die using our silver glimmer paper. And I've already also pre-prepared our strip. So I'm just going to pop this over here. Now, if you like anything that I am using today, uh, please click on the link below to my store um, if you're in Australia and purchase. And if you're not in Australia, I do have links to the other demonstrators who are part of this group in the US and the UK. So the sentiment that I'm using for this card is a little Christmas spirit brightens all the world. Now I am just using my blocks, my Stampin' Up! blocks that have come in kits here. I'm going to bring in my balmy blue again. Now this warning this is a new ink pad and it is really quite stiff not as stiff as last time I used it so these are awesome ink pads you don't need to do the little push 
to open it. See, I can talk and stamp at the same time. If you all noticed, I went a bit silent there. That is as good as that's going to get. I'm going to trim that up. And I have also added, so we just push this closed, flick it over and make sure it clicks closed. So there's none of the pushing and pulling for our new ink pads, which is lovely. I'm going to... Grab down here our stamp and trimmer. Sorry, I'm not going to be able to get it all in the frame, but I do know roughly that just a touch more over and boom, done, trimmed, ready to go. This scrap of whisper white that I'm stamping on. It's a literal scrap from um, my paper folder and I grabbed it out and went yay and I ended up getting five sentiments. So I have here my clear Winker Stella. Now I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Just giving it a shake up to get all the glimmer evenly dispersed. And what I have done is just pounced and brushed this just to give a little bit of sparkle to this whole piece and I did let the ink dry long enough that it isn't smearing which is great and I'm quite generous with my Winker Stella here because who doesn't like a bit of sparkle in their life and this sparkle matches perfectly with the silver glimmer paper so it's not as shimmery so I've kept that put that to the side so it doesn't quite match but they complement each other really nicely so this uh, glimmery star I do have sitting on a round piece of vellum it just made it easier to stick to the card so once again I have a scrap of vellum and I have our one and a half inch circle punch. I always turn my punches over so I get the most out of my scraps of cardstock. Give that a push. And for glue, because these are so fine, I am going to use our multi-purpose glue so basically the multi-purpose means if you use it wet it's permanent if you let it dry the ink uh, the ink geez louise uh, the glue is actually repo repositionable so i've just dotted that there now i'm going to make this roughly in the middle you guys know me, close enough is generally good enough. It does not have to be perfect. It is a handmade card. And that, oh no, that's pretty good. Okay, so I have those two elements done. So I have already cut a piece of paper in half, scored it in the middle and folded it. I have also pre-cut, now for everyone that uses um, A4, and I feel like I'm going to sneeze, so I do apologise if I do. Um, for everyone that uses A4, I cut the uh, piece of paper, the piece of pattern paper from the Twinkle set. I cut it 14.45. Four and a half, four five um, centimeters by ten, so half a centimeter smaller than your card front. I then cut these at three point two centimeters, so that gives you your really nice spacing. The first one I did, 
I'll show you the first one I did. This is the first one and the spacing wasn't quite right. So I just put an extra two millimeters on each strip to get this. Whilst this card is still great and I'm really happy with it and very happy to give it away at Christmas time. I just prefer the spacing of this one. So I'm going to use my liquid glue again just so I have a bit of wiggle room and I can line these up. I would, while I'm doing this, I would love to hear in the comments who is part of our Christmas Stampathon group and who's participating because I love to know that you guys are watching our videos and getting inspiration from what we're sharing. God, I did need the wiggle room on that one. Okay, that's that one done. I'm going to do the other end and then I can space the middle a bit easier. Um, yeah, I really love to... Oh dear, I think I just put that one on back to front. Oh well. You should have yelled out louder and told me I was putting it on back to front, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so I love to know who's participating and who's watching my videos. And if you do love watching my videos, please subscribe. Um, I do try to do an extra video during the month. I do have one up my sleeve, or not up my sleeve, but I do have one in my head at the moment that I want to do. I've made a card and just has a bit of a technique on it because I couldn't quite get the card to work. And I went, oh, hold on, I know what to do. So make sure you subscribe to all of us girls that do the Christmas Stampathon Challenge. I know Ruth and Denise are regularly put out videos and Rosalie like me tries to do extra videos now this one of course because I'm doing it for you guys isn't perfect not that I'm rushing it's the pressure the pressure the pressure but guess what <laughs> It's a handmade card. So this card is really easy. I mean, I the hardest thing, I can't even call it hard, it was just tedious, uh, was getting all the bits out of the die cut because it is quite intricate. But I was sitting here chatting with a friend and just popping out all the uh, bits while I was doing it. So in the end, it didn't actually take very long and just some little dabs of glue trying not to get it on the open parts like I have here but it only shows through a touch just want enough to attach it and then I have lined it up here with the gap because if I didn't line it up with the this um, gap, it would have done my head in. And I don't, it only just goes over the edge of the card. It'll still fit in an envelope and it shouldn't, um, it shouldn't ruin anything. Okay, I'm going to grab my dimensionals here. Lick this over. Please excuse my husband in the background. He's talking to our dog or his guide dog. More to the point. Okay, and I have gluey fingers. Surprise, surprise. If I'm not inky, I'm gluey. Right, that's better. Okay, and this is the last element of our card. Now, one thing I was thinking of doing, and I might actually do it for you guys, is taking my Wink Costella and just popping some in the stars on the background because this piece of paper in particular has a lot of... No. And 
this is why I don't push things down hard to start off with. It just gives me a little chance to, yes, that's, that will do. So just going along here and just putting a few dabs of Winkostella. So when the recipient receives this, there are some nice shimmery pieces. I'm not doing every one, just a few. I love how some of these um, stars are faded. It really gives you that really nice 3D effect. Okay, and that is my card done. Just to remind you what I have used. I have used... The framelit set that goes with Star of Light. I have used the, where's the sentiment? A little Christmas spirit brightens all the world. And I will bring in all four of my cards to show you. I've just whipped those up this morning and popped on and showed you this. Now, I'm just going to try and slowly move this around and hopefully you get the wink of Stella that I've covered this with the wink of Stella. I would love to see you over at our Christmas Challenge Stempathon 2018. Join in the fun. There's still plenty of challenges to go until the end of November. Um, so yeah, and what you guys will win, which I didn't mention um, for those lucky winners who get drawn out, you will receive a prize pack in each region. So in the UK, the US and Australia, you'll receive a prize pack and I, um, our second winner will receive a sample of each project that we make so come along have fun get some inspiration for your Christmas projects because it is Christmas in July after all and I will see you next month thanks so much for watching guys bye